You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the Republic of Mauritania, Hamad Walid Abdul Aziz, on his country's independence anniversary. His Majesty extended his best wishes of health and happiness to President Hamad Walid Abdul Aziz on this national occasion and of peace and prosperity to the people of Mauritania. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Mauritania's Republic President Hamid Wal Abdul Aziz on his country's independence anniversary. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations and wishes of health and happiness to the President on this national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of royal family members and officials at Glebia Palace where His Royal Highness exchanged discussions with them and a number of affairs and topics. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the Bahraini people's awareness and civilization and their keenness on carrying out their national responsibilities and enhance the achievements of their country. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of the next stage which witnesses the completion of the electoral process to consolidate the national march and achieve more progress and prosperity to meet the aspirations of citizens. The Prime Minister affirmed the its determination to exert more efforts to achieve its development goals and maintain its advanced levels in various fields of development. He expressed aspiration for further cooperation with the next Council of Representatives. His Royal Highness also discussed the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and affirmed that the two countries embody a model of brotherhood and solidarity, standing side by side in different circumstances as well as the strong strategic partnership between the two countries, which has contributed to the consolidation and expansion of economic cooperation and achieving advanced levels of growth. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Glebia Palace today a number of heads and representatives of institutions and associations and civil society organizations working in the field of promoting peace, coexistence and dialogue between cultures and people from several countries from Europe, Asia and Africa. His Royal Highness welcomed them affirming that the meeting is a good opportunity to get a closer look at the coexistence and peace of the Bahraini society. His Royal Highness stressed that the world today is facing increasing challenges that threaten security and stability and that the international community must take lessons from past experiences. He said the wars and conflicts have left nothing but destruction and devastation, which is the first obstacle to the unity of people. His Rohan has said that Bahrain always extends its hand to those who achieve security and stability for humanity and internationally recognized as an oasis for coexistence, tranquility and cultural pluralism. His Rohan has asserted the necessity to spread peace as a center value for achieving the aspirations of nations and people, stressing the importance of these visits and meetings in promoting rapprochement, dialogue and exchange of visions in all that would support world peace. His Royal Highness stressed that the development in the region and the world requires more awareness and that there is collective action to develop a comprehensive mechanism for development that contributes to the elimination of tension and conflict. His Royal Highness underlined the need for a common political will to achieve world peace through serious work to ensure respect for the foundations of state relations and fighting terrorism, which are the main factors in destabilizing security, stability and world peace. His Royal Highness stressed that civil society organizations have a great responsibility in building bridges and understanding and highlighting peace and development as as basis for stability and progress and supporting rapprochement among people. He also stressed the need of joining efforts to build a peaceful world through collective cooperation and joint international action that addresses the causes of tension and leads to building a better future in which humanity will enjoy security and tranquility. During the meeting, the Prime Minister discussed the latest regional and international developments. For their part, the members of the delegation expressed their gratitude to His Royal Highness for his interest in spreading and promoting peace in the world through his vision, which promotes these concepts in the Bahraini society. They said that the ideas and visions presented by His Royal Highness are formed for noble and humanitarian causes. They underlined Bahrain's pioneering model of development and pluralism, which made Bahrain a destination for peace in the region.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Mauritanian President Mohamed Wal Abdul Aziz on his country's independence anniversary. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his sincere congratulations to President Mohamed Wal Abdul Aziz on this national occasion, wishing him health and happiness. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his majlis in Al Wadi Palace the regional chair for Young Presidents Organization YPO in the Middle East and North Africa, Mina Qutb Dadabai, and his accompanying delegation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the guests, hailing the role of the organization and highlighting Bahrain's support to youth on the leading and administrative levels. He also commended the Bahraini youth who lead these organizations, which increase their expertise expertise and communication with the international community. He praised the Kingdom Selection as a regional center for the organization, noting that Bahrain welcomes these international organizations which aim to exhort youth talents and to provide them with investment opportunities. Azana Sheikh Nasser listened to a speech by the regional chair of YPO on the organization's goals and the requirements of joining it. He expressed appreciation to the chairman and the delegation for their visit. For his part, the chairman of YPO announced that the organization is preparing for a visit of the largest delegation to the organization in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated his advisor, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend the 25th session of the World Islamic Banking Conference (WIBC). The conference is held in Bahrain for three days under the theme Islamic Finance and Sustainable Economic Growth in the Digital Transformation Era. In the presence of about 1,200 Islamic banking and finance leaders, policymakers, regulators, and many financial and academic institutions, His Highness Sheikh Salman conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to all the participants and his wishes that the results of the conference will contribute to the advancement of the Islamic banking sector. He stressed that the government, led by His Royal Highness, has provided the banking world and its both sectors, traditional and Islamic, with the necessary infrastructure to move forward in order to enhance the role in serving Bahrain's development in all fields. His Highness noted Bahrain's keenness in providing modern legislative and legal elements that have strengthened the value and impact of the financial and banking sector in the national economy, especially Islamic banking, which is witnessing a remarkable growth at the regional and global levels. Celebrating its 25th edition, the World Islamic Banking Conference, the largest Islamic banking gathering returns to the Islamic finance hub of the MENA region, Bahrain. In line with its steady vision to serve as a compass for the global Islamic finance and banking industry. We are working to establish uh, the right or the appropriate ecosystem that will enable uh, the new technology to have roots in Bahrain. And we are hoping you know, the, the Islamic finance uh, groups, yani, be it insurance, uh, uh, banks, to take advantage of this. Because ultimately, our objective is to uh, offer the, ser the banking services to the community in Bahrain at a competitive prices with uh, uh, high effectiveness. Key features include governors' addresses, a high-profile regulatory debate among central bankers, a conversation with a distinguished Islamic finance veteran on the future course of the Islamic economy,
the regulations power table and fostering synergies among regulators, standard setters and global financial regulatory authorities to further Islamic finance. Panel discussions focusing on sustainable, equitable and inclusive growth, fintech, new horizons for Islamic finance, cross-jurisdictional issues on Sharia standards and practices and much more. Digital transformation is the talk of the hour. Everybody is trying to advance in that front and Bahrain has taken steps already to put it, put it in the right place. Uh, as a leading country actually, as it has been doing in the past with respect to general banking services and financial services uh, overall. Uh, so Bahrain with Bahrain Fintech Bay and the many regulations that were issued that are very conducive and pro digitization by the central bank has helped Bahraini banks and uh, financial services entities to move very fast. Bahrain has always uh, led the scene when it comes to banking and when it comes to regulation and banks have followed suit. Uh, today Bahrain uh, leads the scene uh, in, in fintech transformation. The platform has been set and the initiative has been taken by the government and the uh, private sector is following suit. With the pace of changing in financial services increasing rapidly, so does the urge for the industry to react, rapidly embracing the prevalent disruption and forging partnerships over efforts to sharpen operational efficiency have taken precedence in the digital era. The World Islamic Banking Conference today celebrates its 25th anniversary here in Bahrain as the largest and the most prestigious gathering of Islamic banking leaders and finance leaders of the world. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdullah Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza inaugurated the 7th Annual Human Resources Management Conference 2018 with the participation of major international and regional companies and a number of senior experts and major organizations in human resources. In a speech at the conference, the minister referred to many aspects of human resource management in the modern era. He also spoke about one of the recent examples taken by the government in the field of stimulating administrative innovation, which is the FIKRA program, of His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Human Resources Management Conference, which runs until the November the 28th, is dedicated to human capital management and training needs and attracts HR leaders and training professionals to meet in the Kingdom of Bahrain and provide insights into human resource development, apply international best practices specifically designed for the Middle East markets, and includes three interactive workshops on important human resource strategies. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, honored women in the ministry today as part of the celebrations of Bahraini Women's Day. Al Jodar congratulated Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council for Women, on the occasion of the upcoming Bahraini Women's Day, pointing out that the event comes as a recognition of the great position of Bahraini women and appreciation of their role in the development process. The minister also pledged to provide all forms of support to the women in the sector and continue to enhance their role in all areas of development in the kingdom. I'm glad that we are here today. If it shows anything, it shows the, the care uh, of His Majesty the King to the, for women and how they are an important part of the society. And uh, in addition, the, His Excellency the Minister, Hisham al Joder, and how he sees that women in his ministry are important, uh, an, an, an important part in uh, the ministry. Yeah, and of course, things like this and events of this sort gives us a boost and motivate us to do even more and more uh, than we are already doing. Today we are celebrating the woman, Bahraini Women Day. Mainly, I am so proud as a Bahraini. We are. I would like to congratulate every woman on this land, every Bahraini lady on this land, which is giving a lot from her time, from her offer, efforts, and which achieve a lot and a lot for the kingdom itself. We as a staff, we are waiting for this day every year. We are so happy to see the happiness uh, in their eyes for all the staff that we are here rewarding us, say thank you for all the achievements that you have done through over the year. 
The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Center for Global Coexistence, Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, participated in the opening of the new building at St. Peter's Church in Salmania. The president of the president of this is Bahrain, Betsy Matheson, and the patriarch of the Syriac Orthodox Church of Pantakia and all the East Moor, Ignatius Afram II, and the senior clergy accompanying him. Sheikh Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa affirmed that the march of his man seeking Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his noble efforts to promote the values of peaceful coexistence and mutual respect at the global level prove the leading status of the kingdom as a country with foundations that support international stability between races, people and religions. The Pope expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for his policy of making the kingdom a country of religious coexistence and tolerance among the followers of different faiths and denominations. Under the patronage of the Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General Hizan Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, an honoring ceremony of a number of participants in the Bahrain Defense Force Special Task Force participating in the Restore Hope Operation in Yemen as part of the coalition forces led by Saudi Arabia took place. Hizan Sheikh Nasser delegated the Deputy Royal Guard Commander Brigadier Hamad Khalifa Naimi to receive and honor the task force members. Brigadier Naimi honored and awarded a number of officers, non commissioned officers, and BDF task force members with appreciation medals provided by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to the officers in appreciation for their national efforts and fraternal role in supporting their brothers in the coalition. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior BDF officers and the participants' family members. Now, the second round of the parliamentary elections abroad is being held in 29 embassies, consulates and diplomatic missions of the Kingdom of Bahrain in 24 countries. The 2018 election executive committee said the second round will be held for candidates for the Council of Representatives of 31 constituencies as nine candidates won the first round. Meanwhile, for the municipal councils, the second round includes 23 constituencies. The committee said the voting process abro abroad was held between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. depending on the local time of the city where the embassy, consulate or diplomatic mission is located. Eagle Hills DR, the pioneers behind the distinguished Marasil Bahrain development, appointed joint venture contractors Shapruji Balanji Middle East LLC and Sebarco Bahrain SPC for the construction of Marasi Galeria Mall, Vida Hotel and Service Departments. In addition to Marasi Galeria, a 200,000 square meter shopping and entertainment destination which offers a range of entertainment facilities, Marasil Bahrain will comprise a range of residential components such as Marasi Residences, Marasi Shores Residences and Marasi Boulevard. The master plan will also provide access to a two-kilometer beach with waterfront retail outlets. Today we actually complete a major milestone which is signing the main contractor uh, award uh, to build the Marasi Galleria project which is the biggest uh, shopping center or one of the biggest shopping centers in Bahrain and the biggest within Diyar Muharraq. Uh, that agreement was signed with Shaburji and joint venture with uh, Sibarku Bahrain. Uh, the value of the uh, contract over $350 million, uh, which is a major uh, project uh, for Bahrain. We are proud as Sibarka Shapurji to get such a prestigious job. It's going to be a challenging one, but we are uh, very confident that we can finish this job. It's going to be a big prospect for the Kingdom of Bahrain.